so I'm going to show you how you mix glass enema now. It can be called P fill, or it might say on the bottle GIC, it depends on the manufacturer's um, name. So you need a pad or a glass slab. I normally prefer it on a glass slab, um, but with the pad you can just take it off and then um, put that in the bin afterwards. You need a spatula. So I'm going to do the spatula first of all, and you mix with the pointy end and then the flat end is for segregating the powder. So always mix your powder first of all, then tap it down on the lid and however many drops you want. You need to pull this up mm. slightly. It, that would just work like that. Oh, will it? Yeah, okay. just drips. Right, never do it like this because it's not a clear drop. It should be held up in the air and then you press it slightly. So one drop, two drops. And you can put your lid back on. You get your powder. I normally choose the pointy end first of all. And then you should line it up and then put it into sections because you need to do a section at a time. So the first one, you can use your pointy end to mix. So depending on the consistency, some dentists use this for cementing crowns, you'd need slightly runnier than this, but you shouldn't be getting more with that side, you use your other side. So you've got one dry side and one wet side. And you're kind of just mixing it all in and pushing it down. You've got some powder on the back, so I'll push that down as well on there. And on the back, keep turning it, and then keep gathering it up. So if this needs to be slightly thicker, for example, for a child to fill in, just keep adding a bit more at a time. And scrape it all up and then you can leave it on the edge for the dentist. Wipe your spatula straight away so then that doesn't go through to the decom room with anything on. I always put everything back into the jar with your flat end and then I always get a tiny bit of Vaseline as well and I'll put that on because this feels slightly gritty in the patient's mouth. The dentist sometimes will use the glass enema and then smear the Vaseline over the side as well. So that's the correct consistency for a filling for a child.